welcome to Pumpkins Nail Station. So, um, today we're going to be doing some gel tips. Well, um, I've emptied them out by mistake, but anyway, I bought some of these gel X tips from AliExpress probably about a month ago or something like that, and they arrived after about two, two and a half weeks or something like that. But obviously, it's AliExpress, so if yours take longer, don't come for me, <laughs> okay? Um, I think sometimes you can just be lucky, but they do dispatch quickly, and all I can say in my experience, I'm in the United Kingdom, and I have received these quickly. Um, Melinda also ordered some as well, um, and she has used gel tips before, and she says that these feel like gel tips. So it was about five pound a bag. Um, I'll have to, I'll pop the link below. So if any of you want to try them, go for it. I have put this one on by mistake. I thought I was filming, but I realised I wasn't. So I've just started the video again. Okay. Um, we're going to use this miniature lamp um, that I got in a kit um, to review by Model Ones. So it's a miniature lamp. So I've taken that lamp out to use for this process. Um, and I also um, just filmed unbox a starter kit. So we're going to use the tools from there um, and, and a brush that also came in that starter kit. So I'm just going to take everything out that we're going to need and I'm going to come back. Okay, right. So I've taken out the cuticle oil because we're going to use that at the end, a nail brush, some nail cleansers. So for prepping the nail. We've got a cuticle pusher and scraper. We have a buffer. This file didn't come in the kit, but we're going to need a file. Um, and then this one is a softer buffer. I'm not sure we're going to use that. But we're going to need a file and a buffer, a cuticle pusher, something to remove the dust, something to wipe your nails. I'm going to use these, but you could just use that with some alcohol on it. Um, we're going to need a base and a top coat, a clear poly gel, and a duster brush and we're also going to go for the model ones prep and prime um, so that's what we're going to need and we're going to need our tips and a miniature lamp that we're going to set on its side so that we can just kind of do that you know to prep start the nails and then we're going to fully cure it in this lamp just here okay um it's got a 60 second and 30 second mode so you you can do that and pop your hand in and it will cure for 30 seconds you can also do that for 60 seconds the automatic setting is only set to 60 seconds um, and it has a low heat mode as well which will start once you put your hand in so it doesn't work like that but it's fine so if you just had it on that, it would automatically start at 60 seconds, like that. So you could keep it on that, all that, okay? Um, so that's basically the lamp we're going to use to fully cure it. And that also came in the start kit. Okay, so we're just going to pop to the side and we're going to need some clear poly gel which is also model ones okay so we've got everything set there first off we're going to have to prep the nails okay i'm going to try and do this without an e-file put these tips on without an e-file so if you didn't have an e-file and you just wanted to do some nail tips this is what we're going to do okay okay so i've washed my hands and now we're just going to redo this part we're just going to push them back Okay, so what we're doing here is we're using the cuticle pusher that came in the Model 1's gel starter kit, which you can watch that video in the top right because there is a really awesome deal on that with $40 of savings, free gifts and stuff like that that come with the kit, so it's really awesome, so you need to watch that. But basically we're pushing the cuticles back because that's paramount, you have to make sure there is no skin or cuticle on the nail bed. And it's nice and clean but previous to that i gave my hands a wash and cleaned it all and then we i we're giving it <laughs> we're doing we're cleaning the, we're the <laughs> take two we're removing the dead skin off the nail bed essentially is what we're doing and then i'm going to give my nail beds a wipe 
down. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, here it goes. So basically, we're. Ah! <laughs> We're removing the dead skin from the nail bed. Then I'm going to buff it, shape the nail with a file, and then clean it with some alcohol. I got there in the end. Okay, right, so I'm just going to let you watch this because it's pretty straightforward. It's just nail prep. That's basically what we're doing here. The general steps that I keep seeing. Okay, now we're going to add some prep and prime. This is an acid free prep. So, first off, you use the dehydrator that comes in the set. So, what that's going to do is just dry out the nail beds and remove any oils. And then you're going to switch over to the primer after you've let the dehydrator fully evaporate must not still look wet, it must look completely dry and all evaporated. Then you're going to put the primer on and then on top of that you're going to apply the base coat and we're going to cure that in the full power lamp for 30 seconds. That's a UV LED so it just varies on what type of lamp that you're using. Okay if it's just a UV lamp then it's then it's two minutes I believe for a base coat. So we have got 11 sizes in this bag, okay? So there is 11 sizes and we've got to size up the tips, okay? So basically I used a number one, I think on here, yeah, number one, and I used a number nine on my small finger that I accidentally filmed without pressing record. So I believe my middle nail is three, now you could write this down at this stage so you don't have to do this every time. Um, so you would pop this over there. So I think that's a little bit too big because it's overlapping way too much. So let's try a number four because they get smaller as the numbers get higher and bigger as the numbers get lower. Okay. So it has to fit from that side to that side so that one is for the middle nail okay so we're going to pop that there then we're going to look at the other two so we're going to try a five so i think that's a bit too small but it might fit this one so yeah a number five fits that lower finger and then we're going to try another four so let's try four again so yeah we're going to need two size fours and a five if something is a little bit too big and the others are too small you can you can file and shape them to fit So they're the sizes that we're going to need. So I'm just going to put the others away and I'm going to come back to the next part. Mm. Okay, so this part you will need some kind of file for or e-file simply because I can't figure out a way to do this uh, without using some acetone and that's not something I'm about uh, because I think I would melt it. So I'm just going to score this with this little piece here you see you just need to score the in okay so basically I'm um, all I'm doing here is 
sanding down the inside of the tip. It's like priming it so it will stick well with the poly gel that we're going to add to it later on. Um, if you don't have an e-file then I think you can use the acetone technique that I've seen. It's like quite a lot of the acetone removed and then you put it on to the tip. I don't know if it works but I've seen it work but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know how else to do this unless you've got a really small file. But you need to prime the inside of the nail essentially with something like that. Okay, right. so you plug it into there and we're going to do this. Okay, right, so then we're just going to sit putting these on like through this like that it's probably the only lamp that i have that i can do something like that with um so that's basically what we're going to do and then once i have freezed it i'm going to pop it into the bigger lamp to give it a full cure okay so that's what we're going to use for that so let's set these nails out again so the five is for the first nail that one is for the middle and that one is for that so you would lay out your nails in the order from like say your thumb upwards so you would know what you was doing okay now we're going to add a layer of base coat i'm just going to push these back so i'm going to do it one nail um one nail at a time so we'll start with this one okay so i'm going to remove off quite a bit of that base coat. Okay, so now we're going to use the poly gel brush because I'm going to use poly gel to stick mine down but you could just use a base coat or a builder gel, whatever it is that you want to use, you can use at this stage. So I'm going to use a new uh, Model 1's brush that I've got and some alcohol and we're going to just dab off most of the alcohol like that. So we're going to get some clear poly gel, okay, just a little bit, not a lot. And we're going to push it. I'm just move that from. on like so. Get our brush and flatten this out thin. So you're just going to pat this to the side. If you think you need a bit more poly gel, you can always add it. It's fine. I think I might add a tiny bit more. Then you can always remove some if you think you put too much on. Now I do think I have a bit too much, so I'm just going to pull some back and scrape some off. So now here's the interesting part. Let's see if this works. Okay. So we're going to pop the tip on. 
like this from the cuticle down pressing firm okay press firm and if anything squeezes out this is where we're going to remove it okay so we're going to come around the edges and get rid of as much as we can as well okay right so now we're going to press this keep in mind I have never done this before you're going to hold down tight at this point okay so you don't get any air bubbles you kind of just going to make sure you get that side and now I'm going to kind of release my finger and just cure it just moving it around like so okay Max, I think that's frozen skin here so you can get that off quite easily it's fine and then you're just going to use the smoother side of your file like so but we're going to do all that at the end I just wanted to get rid of that bulky bit and we can even we can even file that out but you know it's fine but I think I will e-file that out or you could just add some top coat underneath to level it out so I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds now in the full power lamp and then I'm going to come back and we're going to repeat this process but we're going to speed it up to like okay right so we're back so I've put a bit less poly gel in this time again I'm gonna just flash it in here and you can always turn this over at this point so in your eyes So now I'm just going to flash it in here for 30 seconds, come back with the base coat on and we're going to do the last nail. Okay, so here we are. And we're going to do this again.
Okay, so I'm just going to go and cure that for 30 seconds in the powerful lamp. And then I think I'm going to go and get my little battery operated e-file that you could use for this, you know, if you don't want to use or you don't have the money to buy a 50, 60 pound e-file just to do nails. Okay, so if you do make this mistake where it's run out underneath and you'd prefer to just uh, file it off, then you could use these sorts of e-files. So I'm just going to go and get it and be right back. Okay, so I know I said I wouldn't use an e-file, but I absolutely f up, okay, um, because I can't handle it looking a mess underneath my free edge, I'm sorry guys, but I would recommend getting some sort of e-file if you're going to be doing any type of nail enhancements, because I'm one of these little ceramic bits um, that's just for removing dry skin um, and things like that on the nail bed, it's very fine, but you would do this on a low speed. Okay, so because I put too much poly gel on, some of it spilled out the bottom of the nail and a little bit at the top. So all I'm doing is removing that. Okay, um, I also cut my finger at the top um, because some of the gel went on my finger and then obviously I had to get it off. I tried to use a hand file and I gave myself a whopping cut. But this is my first time doing nail tips, so, you know, don't come for me, guys. Honestly, I've messed up several times doing this but I got there in the end and actually they've been on my hands now for about three or four days and they've not come off touch wood um I actually forget to show you the finished nails at the end of this video so I'm sorry but you're going to see a part two where you see them anyway and they look awesome they feel really lightweight they've not come off and actually they've been really easy to do things with like open tins and stuff like that because they are thin and I have really enjoyed wearing them and I've just removed my other hand of nails so I think I'm going to do a second video of me trying this again because don't forget I did these tips with my non-dominant hand so it is more difficult so we're going to re-film like a part two or a part three of the nail tip um whatever you want to call it but I'm going to come back and do another hand and we're just going to have another go at this so anyway i hope you enjoyed this even if it's probably not you know not right or it's not up to standards not up to scratch whatever but i had a go at this and i really enjoyed it but if you want to watch somebody who knows what they're doing with nail tips i recommend watching melinda from beauty v nails she's awesome at tips so i'm going to link a video where she's used exactly the same tips as me um in the top right it was part of a she modern collab what we did and you can just check out how awesome she is at doing tips anyway. So that is it. So I hope you enjoyed it. some alcohol that is what they are looking like apart from that cut everything looks okay so i'm just going to tidy up all this dust and then we're going to decide on the manicure which i think i may do as a separate video because this has took way too long as it is i was hoping to be able to do it all in one video but to be honest with you this is just way too long so uh I think we're just going to piece out at this point and then I'm going to do a separate video I think using some glass jelly polishes and some holographic powder 
so I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna go now um, <laughs> I hope that you got something out of doing this um, and if you're going to try these tips let me know I would love to hear from you if you give, do buy them and give them a shot um, otherwise you know that is me for today so I'll chat to you soon bye